very excited to come back the our YouTube platform RPB Resonance Chemistry. Okay, so I'll be back with uh, one of one of the most important and latest topic uh, in in regarding to the CSR net gate IIT John and some of the Central University tests. Okay, so this is very important topic. That is nothing but uh, group theory. Group theory. In recent days, uh, gate and CSR it is more valuable topic, more valuable topic. Okay, so in generally group theory it, it, it is taken from the mathematical mathematical undergraduation level topic. Okay, so generally group is nothing but a set of elements like let us assume A, B, C, D, and so on. So that set of elements it obeys closer law, associative law, identity law, inverse law. So if any set of elements it obeys all these kind of laws, so then it's said to be group. Okay. So this is the mathematical uh, expression, mathematical definition regarding to the group of a system, group of a set of indices. So along with group, it obeys a commutative law. We know that the commutation means commutative law. A B is equal to B. So along with the group four four uh, laws, it obeys the commutative law. Then it's said to be then it's said to be abelian group. Abelian group. So this is the group. First four terms is group. Group along with commutative that is abelian group. So this is the mathematical definitions regarding to the group and the abelian groups. Group and abelian groups. Now let's move on to the our chemical quarter. That is nothing but a group theory in chemistry. Okay, so in order to understand the point groups like those advanced topics, we are aware about a simple term that is a symmetry of molecule. Symmetry of molecule. Okay, so if any molecule, we have the plenty of molecules, if any molecule is said to be symmetry, if you can take up the molecule and it results, if you can take up the molecule and it produces uh, multiple number of equivalent configurations, multiple number of equivalent configuration by performing the some of geometrical manipulations, some of the geometrical manipulations. If you apply the some of the geometrical manipulation on uh, a molecular object, it gives the its equivalent configurations. So the new term is equivalent configuration. It, it gives the equivalent configurations of more than one equivalent configuration that's said to be symmetry. Let us take the very simple example water molecule. So this is the water molecule. Okay. So when you perform the some of the geometrical manipulation, so that geometrical manipulation is like a rotation with 180 degrees. So rotation with 180 degrees, it produces like this kind of element. So here similar atoms, the replacement is most understood to know the like equivalent configuration, to obey the equivalent configuration. Similar atoms can only replace it. So if a hydrogen atom replaced by the hydrogen, not chlorine, bromine, etc. If chlorine atom is present, chlorine atom again replaces by the other chlorine atom. To understand the better way of the concept, that's why we are labeled to two hydrogens with HA and HB. Okay, so both are similar atoms. So, for better understanding, we are labeled HA and HB. So, 180 degrees rotation, it produces this kind of geometry. Again, one more 180 degrees of rotation, it produces another kind of molecule, that is HA and HB. Okay, so here are three configurations are there. One, two, three. So, three configurations are there. So, among these three, what is the relation between one and two, two and three, one and three? Okay, now here, Oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, so oxygen, HA, HB. This is the real information. So oxygen, HA, HB, which is HA replaces the HB. Simply HB replaces the HA, and HA replaces the HB. Simply hydrogen A atom replaces the hydrogen B. Hydrogen B is replaced by the hydrogen A. So that will lead to the new configuration. So here one and two. Those kind of relations simply is called as equivalent configuration equivalent configuration okay so similar kind of atoms similar kind of atoms replaces by the those similar element 
those with similar reliability simply it is said to be equivalent configuration. Again, similarly, HB here HA. So HA replaces the HB, HB replaces the HA. So 2 and 3 are also equivalent configuration. Equivalent configuration. So finally, what about 1 and 3? So here HA is there, HA is there, HB is there, HB is there at the right side. HA present at the left side. So similar, it, it is not similar, it is exact equal one. Those exact equal ones are called as identical. Identical configuration. So one and three are one and three is identical configuration. Identical configuration. This is the like a very simple definition regarding to the equivalent configuration. Okay, so uh, many of the doubts are there. So why it, it, it takes a ge geometrical manipulation in 180 degrees? Why it takes only rotation? Okay, so several kind of uh, operations and elements are there. So in order to understand the this symmetry of molecule, are you clear? In order to understand the this symmetry of molecule, we are needed two terms. That is symmetry operation and symmetry element. Symmetry operation and symmetry element. Now let's move on to those two terms. I think it is clear. If any molecule can use the more than one equivalent configuration, simply uh, like multiple number of equivalent con configuration by performing the geometrical manipulation, then it's said to be symmetry. Then it's said to be symmetry. Now, so in order to understand the symmetry of a molecule, so two terms are needed. One is a symmetry operation. And another one is symmetry element. And another one is symmetry element. Now the second one is symmetry element. Okay. So the first one is a symmetry operation. So symmetry operation is nothing but a, a geometrical manipulation. So it, it, it is it is nothing but a geometrical manipulation. So simply a geometrical manipulation of the molecule is said to be symmetry operation. So generally three three, three kinds of symmetry operation are there. So rotation about the axis, rotation about the axis. And now the second one, reflection on plane. Now the third one, inversion to a point. Inversion to a point. Very simple things. Okay. So these three are the symmetry operation. So symmetry operation means so this one of the one of the symmetry operator performing on the molecule it leads to the some of the equivalent configuration. Then only it's said to be symmetry of the molecule. Then only it's said to be symmetry of the molecule. Simply rotation about the axis represented like this. So here the molecule is there. So that is the rotational axis. Rotation axis. So that rotational axis simply represented like this. Represented like this. Now reflection and plane. So reflection and plane. It is simply represented like dotted lines or these kind of uh, molecule. So these two are the representations of reflection and plane. Now inversion center, inversion center, uh, inversion center through a point, through a point. This is the inversion center. So simply inversion center operation simply denoted as a thick dot, thick dot. Okay. So here these are the symmetry operations. Whenever we have the like a molecule, so that molecule which is performed by the one of the symmetry elements here following things are needed so simply some of the things are needed to perform in the or by performing the symmetry operation of molecule some of the points are needed simply by performing the symmetry operation operation on molecule following things are needed Following things means following points are needed. So the first point, geometry, shapes of the molecules should be known. Shapes of molecule, shapes of molecules should be known. So this is the first one. Now the second one, now the second one, all the atoms present in molecule. All the atoms present in molecule 
assumed to be free in state. Assumed to be free in state. Assumed to be free in state. So this has been very simple. Thing. Now, third point. So it is very important one. So the center of gravity. Center of gravity of molecule should not be altered. Should not be altered. So these three points are needed to uh, performing the to performing the any symmetry operation on molecule. Okay. So without these points, uh, the symmetry operation will leads to the like uh, 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 non symmetrical things. Non symmetrical things. The first one, shapes of molecule should be known. Now the second one, all the atoms present in the molecule are sure to be free. So that's why the only rotation or reflection needs to take place. Now the final, final one, rotation of uh, rot uh, simply center of gravity of the molecule could not be altered. Could not, could not be altered. Simply an altered. Simply an altered. Let us take a very simple example regarding to the uh, any symmetric operation. So this is the water molecule. I know. I think this is the water molecule. Two white balls are hydrogens, and black one is oxygen. So this is the H A H B. For better understanding, I go with the representation. So this is the H A and H B. H A. So this is the A, and this is the B. H A and H B. Okay. So now remember, we will perform the one of the symmetry operation on it. So that means, sir. When we apply the uh, first of the symmetry operation, that is rotation about the axis. Let us assume, so this is the water molecule. So let us uh, imagine an imaginary axis so through the oxygen atom. So an imaginary axis through the oxygen atom. So now here it appears, it appears like this. It appears like this. So left side is H A, right side H B. Okay. So on the rotation about the axis, it leads to the different different configuration. So if you rotate the molecule one degree like this. Two degrees like this, or ninety degrees like this. Again, one eighty degrees like this. One eighty degrees like that. So again, three sixty degrees. Uh, it gives the original position. Three sixty degrees. It gives the original position. So this is H A and H B. Okay. So rotation about axis. It gives the identical configuration. Then only it says it has symmetry. Okay. So identical configuration means H A replaces the H B. H B replaces the H A. Whenever it takes a rotation like equivalent configuration, whenever it results the equivalent configuration, that is simply so here an imaginary axis passes through the molecule. That imaginary axis again it gives the identical configuration with only 180 degrees of rotation. Only 180 degrees of rotation. So this is the simple thing regarding to the rotation about axis. Okay. So here the imaginary axis. This is nothing but rotation about axis. That is called a symmetry operation. Symmetry operation. Now here, which kind of operation is performed? Rotation about axis. Rotation about axis. Let us take the second one: reflection and play. Reflection and play. So when you imagine the water molecule, H A H B. H A H B. This is the reflection and play. So here it is the H A and H B. So whenever the cement, the cement, the second kind of operation that is a reflection and play. When you cut the molecule into two halves, when you cut the molecule into two halves, then it's said to be like reflection and play, reflection and play. So this is the like cutting of the molecule, not a plane molecule. So let us assume. So here three atoms are present in the same plane. Three atoms are present in the like same plane. Okay. So whenever the molecule cuts into two halves, that means like a right white ball cuts into two halves, half of the part in front side, half of the part in back side, and like similarly oxygen atom, half of the part in right side, half of the part in left side. So uh, similarly, uh, right uh, like uh, left white ball, so half of the part in right side and half of the part in left side. So that is called reflection. So simply, this is the reflection on plane. Reflection on plane. So this is a kind of symmetry operation. Now finally, third one that is inversion to a point. So inversion to a point means uh, all the atoms are inverse, like here A to A, or like B to B. So these two points inverse to a point. Simply that is nothing but those kind of operations nothing but inversion to a point. So these are the symmetry operations regarding to the symmetry of molecule. Now let's move on to the second one that is the symmetry element. I think it is clear. Now let's move.
come up with a symmetry element. Now second one is symmetry. So symmetry operation is a, simply it is nothing but a, a geometrical manipulation and symmetry element it is it is nothing but a geometry entity such as geometrical entity such as line, plane, point, etc. So these are the geometric elements. These are the geometry, like simply symmetry elements. So generally five types of symmetry elements are there. So what, first one is the rotational axis of symmetry. Rotational axis of symmetry. Now the second one is plane of symmetry. Third one is improper axis of symmetry. Improper axis of symmetry. And or simply is also called as rotation followed by the reflection. Rotation and reflection axis of symmetry. Rotation followed by the reflection. The fourth one, inversion center. Center of inversion. Center of inversion. But the final one is identity. The final one is identity. So these five types of symmetry elements are present in the symmetry of the molecules. So the first one is rotational axis of symmetry. Simply it is written as represented as a CM and the plane of symmetry it represented as a sigma. Improper axis of symmetry it is represented as SM and inversion center or center of inversion represented as I identity simply it is represented as E. So these five these five kinds of symmetry elements are present in the symmetry of symmetry elements. So in generally all the symmetry elements as well as the symmetry operations they are very closer correlation is there Co closer correlation is there in between the symmetry elements and symmetry operations. Why because so the symmetry operation simply it is existed is in the form of a symmetry element. In case of symmetry element, without knowing, without performing any symmetry operator, it, it cannot exist. It cannot exist. So for example, a rotational axis of symmetry, which kind of operator is operated? Which kind of symmetry operation is performed? Then it gives the rotational axis of symmetry. That is nothing but rotation about axis. Rotation about axis. So plane of symmetry is nothing but a reflection. Reflection of plane. Now the third one, improper axis of symmetry. Simply some of sometimes the symmetry operation combined it, it gives the some, some, some different kind of symmetry element. So here rotation followed by reflection. Rotation followed by reflection. Now inversion center through a inversion point, through a inversion point, inversion point, identity, nothing is true. So leave it alone, that gives the identity contribution. Every atom should have the, this kind of symmetry element. The final one of a symmetry element, each and every atoms are common. Okay. So generally these are the symmetry operations and symmetry elements. In next classes, I will explain those uh, Symmetry elements, rotational axis of symmetry and plane of symmetry, improper axis of symmetry 
on the innovation center identity each and everything explained in different different classes i think three classes i'll explain these all these terms with uh, Hundred percent of examples. That means I said each and every topic was completely explained by the hundred percent of examples. Okay. So thank you so much for watching.